Hey Dad Rockers, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing grass. Uh, I got a little bit of something special in the Dad Rock cave today. The uh, postman showed up. And yep, you guessed it. Another Chibson guitar. Don't go away, we're gonna unbox this right after this. Okay, so let's just get the hate out of the way first. Yes, this is a Chibson guitar. It's not unlike this other one I've got sitting right here, which I've spent a lot of time upgrading, sanding, polishing frets, changing nuts, you name it. And, and I plan to do all of that with this guitar because you can guarantee if this came intact, which I'm not sure because it's got some pretty good dings in it. I'm kind of nervous about this. If it's intact, the bones, if the neck's straight, there's a whole lot of factors. You could get a real dog, but like, don't get me wrong. I'm on number five and one out of five was a dog. It was a Black Beauty Custom. <clears throat> We're also talking five years ago. Things have changed and they've got a lot better at what they're doing. So we'll get the hate out of the way first. This is probably going to say Gibson on the headstock. It's not a Gibson. It's a knockoff. But unfortunately, this is um, a custom version of a Gibson guitar, which costs about five grand. And we all watch Trogly. We love you, Trogly. We really do. But the average guy like myself can't go and spend $5,000 on a Gibson guitar. I'm not here trying to fool nobody except myself because I look at this and it inspires me to pick it up and play it. I'm not <clears throat> purchasing these guitars to fix them up to try and fool other people to think, yeah, <clears throat> um, yeah, this is a real Gibson and uh, I'm gonna try and sell it to you for five grand. No, anybody that knows anything about Gibson knows exactly what to look for when it comes to these being knockoffs. So let's, without further ado, let's get into this dang thing. I've been staring at it for the last couple hours, waiting to get set up to come down here and do this. Probably do a fast forward you think here or something with some music. Played by somebody that knows how to play guitar. Wow, look at the mess. Gonna need a shot back. Okay. Maybe I'll just get rid of this. All right, this is for me uh, a bucket list guitar. A real one would be a bucket list guitar. This is obviously not a real one, but let's take a peek quickly. We got, of course, uh, Allen wrench for the non Gibson truss rod and a really cheap cable. Um, Something else here. What is that? Oh, probably the cheapest looking guitar strap I've ever seen. Oh, and there's picks in there too. Really like 0 0.10 gauge maybe, I guess. I don't know, whatever. This is, this is what you all came here to see. And this is what I've been waiting to see. And like I said, the, the box is really beaten up here. I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> Let's just hope there's no mess in the headstock. Oh, oh, this looks, I can tell already I'm liking how this is looking. That's really weird how they did that. All 
Alright, get all that mess out of the way. Wow. Chinese made Gibson Flying V replica. <clears throat> Frets are actually really smooth. Neck is ooh, about the same as my SG model. Fake Grovers. Binding, how one, two, three, four, five ply. The fake as hell custom logo, but I don't really care. Hate if you like. I I don't really care. <laughs> they did the truss rod cover. Most of them started doing them with the two screws but this is done like an epiphone it's got two screws on the bottom of the bell instead of one the nut feels like it does feel like bone the action right out of the box really kind of looks not bad <clears throat> just front of the body this is all gonna go. These gold covered pickups and this, whatever the hell that, it's just gross looking. It doesn't even look good. I've ordered a metal black one, which is gonna go on here. Black, black hardware, silver, fat cap P90s on the way. Um, wow. I'm actually really, Impressed. So we got five ply binding on the top. We'll flip it around to the back. Five ply binding on the back. The bezels are all in and tight for the string through. Strap button here. And I'm guessing on the bottom of this horn here. Okay, master tone and volume for the bridge of the neck. Switch feels pretty clicky and tight. Pots don't feel scratchy and loose. Like I said, the action looks really good. Let's look down the neck, have a look as I drop it on the floor. It looks pretty good. I'm actually really impressed. They're getting really good at these guitars, folks. Now, I spent 360 Canadian, which probably works out to about 290 in the US of A dollars, delivered to my house and I ordered this September 18th and right now it is the 14th of October so less than a month to my door this beautiful guitar now like I said this is something that's for me I'm not going to try and pass this off as a real Gibson and sell it on reverb like people are doing this is Probably gonna end up being a player, something I'll enjoy, like this SG, this um, Jimmy Page, Les Paul, copy, 59 reissue. And I've got a PRS upstairs that I just love to bits to the point where I don't even bring it down to the Dad Rock Dungeon. I leave it upstairs so I have it with me at all times. Good God, this is beautiful for three hundred and fifty dollars once I get the electronics all upgraded which I'm sure they're dime-sized pots I'm gonna really enjoy this guitar you're not I'm not kidding you I'm not kidding you at all this is gonna be a fun project 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take two seconds to tune this up. We're gonna see if it's playable out of the box. Sometimes they're not, sometimes they buzz, the frets are never leveled properly, but who knows, maybe somebody spent a good long time making this straight and flat, but yeah, there you go. That's, that's the money shot right there. My thumbnail, the money shot. <clears throat> All right, let me uh, tune this up and we'll see how she sounds. Hmm, the up toggle is actually the bridge and toggle down is the backwards and wiring. <laughs> I just wanted to give you my my thoughts straight out of the box. It is going to need some fret work there. They're scratchy. You can hear that. Everything's going to be polished, leveled. Probably going to put a titanium nut. I've got locking black locking tuners coming for this. Uh, black bridge, black tail piece. There's already a black tip and black rings. And then the P90 pickups, which are just going to transform the sound of this guitar. Stay tuned, folks. I'm going to take you through this whole process, boring or not boring, so you can see just what is what these Chinese guitars are all about. Now, like I said, we love you, Trogli, but... I'm in my basement in a corner with two kids in university working two jobs. I can't afford a $5,000 flying V. So, $350 it is. I'm not going to give you a link. All I'm going to tell you is I got this on AliExpress. It's a no brainer. DHgate AliExpress. This one is from AliExpress. Go on there if you're really interested. You just take a look at your local customs because you don't want to order something for $350 and find out customs decided they wanted to keep it and take it home for their kids instead of giving it, letting it go to your house. I don't know what they do with it. In Canada, I'm on number five. So. Good luck to you. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We're going to do some upgrading and we're going to do it soon. Thank you for watching. Have yourself a great day. Now does it sit on the stand? That's... Oh. Oh. Oh, you look so pretty there. Maybe I'll just not even fix him and I'll just leave him and look at him and enjoy it. Because goodness. That's... I think the head, that that just looks wonky, but I don't care. I think he looks pretty damn gorgeous.